Within British Columbia are a number of active volcanoes that are not very well known, such as the Iskut Yunuk river cones, and this is despite the fact that it erupted a 20 kilometer long lava flow in 1904, which crossed the international border into Alaska. In fact, the reason why many of these regional volcanoes are not well known is due to their remoteness. However, one of these volcanoes is well known, at least among volcanologists. What I am referring to is the type locality for the origin of a name of a feature used to widely describe a type of subglacial volcanic vent, as the feature shown on screen was the site of the first analysis of this landform in geologic literature. What you are looking at is called a toya, which is a flat-topped and steep-sided type of subglacial volcano. Toyas form underneath thick ice sheets in a peculiar process which forms its unusual shape. This toya is one of more than a dozen toyas which are part of a much larger volcanic complex of said landforms in addition to other similar subglacial landforms and even a cinder cone being known as the Toya Volcanic Field. It has erupted at least once in the last 11,700 years and will certainly erupt again. The youngest landform is known as Gabriel's Cone, which probably erupted around 7000 BCE. The Toya Volcanic Field is located in far northwest British Columbia near the border with Yukon. The closest town, Jade City, lies 50 kilometers to the east. The abundant jade mined in the area is unrelated to the volcanic complex as it formed in much older layers of rock. This volcanic field contains more than a dozen vents via a combination of toyas, subglacial mounds, and cinder cones spread across an area of 4,700 square kilometers, which is just slightly larger than the U.S. state of Rhode Island. These scattered vents are present rather than a single massive volcano, as the magma which supplies the volcanism in this section of Canada is intermittent, and thus new intrusions of magma which reach the surface occur in different sections of the overall volcanic field. No vents seemingly erupt more than a few times. The exact age of when the first vent in the Toya volcanic field erupted is unclear, although its oldest currently known vent dates to 1.8 million years old. This age was when a toya known as Kimakao formed as when an initial intrusion of magma erupted onto the surface, overlying it was an extensive and thick ice sheet which covered the landscape, measuring more than a kilometer thick. As lava erupted into the bottom of a thick glacier, it could not travel very far and slowly built up into a steep-sided hill. Eventually, a large section of the overlying glacier was melted by its proximity to the lava, forming a small subglacial lake. As subsequent eruptions continued, the volcanic cone eventually reached the height of the lake. Lava is then slowly deposited on the level of the lake water, forming a flat top. By the time the eruptive series had ended, what remained was a unique subglacial volcano termed a toya. Over the next 1.79 million years, the area remained glaciated, although the thickness of glacial ice varied. During this time, numerous other Toyas formed, such as Matthew's Toya, the famous Toya Butte, and several unnamed Toya vents. However, some eruptions underneath the ice sheet did not produce a sufficient volume of molten rock and tephra to melt the entirety of the overlying glacier above an eruption, and as a result formed a different volcanic feature which is termed a subglacial mound. One of these subglacial mounds is the dark-colored ash mountain, which is 580 meters or 1900 feet tall. It is covered in layers of rounded lava called pillow basalt, which is often seen in volcanoes underneath the ocean's surface. The youngest subglacial vent in the overall volcanic field erupted 20,000 years ago and is known as Caribou Toya. The most recent eruption from this volcanic field occurred sometime between 5,000 and 10,000 years ago, only after the overlying ice sheets had retreated. It formed a small red cinder cone called the Gabriel's Cone, which created a lava flow that traveled 5 kilometers to the northeast. Luckily, eruptions from this volcanic field are almost, in my opinion, always only moderately explosive or purely effusive. Future eruptions cannot form more toyas, as an ice sheet is no longer present. Any future eruption would either form a new cinder cone or a small shield volcano, whose worst effects would be causing wildfires in this sparsely populated region of Canada, and perhaps sending volcanic gases including carbon dioxide into regional low points and valleys. Using a U.S. Geological Survey method of rating volcanoes, the Toya Volcanic Field will be classified as a very low-threat volcano. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank Manao Manao, Dominique, and Wojciech for becoming a new patron on this channel's Patreon page.